Hi guys, so today I want to show you how to create a quick thumbnail page to display images. But uh, most importantly, I want to show you how to read and display EXIF data from these images using PHP. Uh, one of the requirements for this uh, project today is to have a set of images. Um, I pulled together a few images that I've taken from around the house that I'm going to use. Yeah. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start off with the HTML. And if you watched any of my previous video, you know that I'm a big Bootstrap fan. And one of the cool things about Bootstrap is they offer a lot of sample code. So for example, yeah, thumbnails. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and bring it back to our IDE. And that gives us a good starting point. Um, you can delete some things that I'm not going to be using. For instance, and I want to make these images responsive. And to display the EXIF data, I'm going to use an order list. Okay, so let's save in, save this here, and let's start doing some of the PHP. All right, so we have an image file, image directory. So I can do something like this. Um, and what we want to do is basically scan this directory and list all the image file names or we'll pull all the image file names so we can use there's actually a function for that called scan okay we print this and make sure we are pulling this data oh and also um Today I'm um, working off my server, um, unlike my previous videos where I've been working off a local host. So if you want to use these images uh, for your demo, all right, feel free. All right. So we just want the image file name, so we can probably loop through this. Tell you what, let's make an array with um, acceptable file extensions. Um, 
JP. Gifts, PNGs. And we want to explode this on the dot. Let me break that out. Um, so basically, we have a file name. We're going to convert it to lowercase, and we've exploded on the dot. So we're saying uh, convert this into array. We're parsing on the dot, so you can have. This is going to be element zero. It's going to be element one. And you n will give us the last element in the array. So we can just say you know, let me write some of this stuff out too. Parse extension. Parse file name. Okay, so now we can say if and we got a needle in a haystack. So we're gonna say if file extension is in extension list, then just build me another array. Print this out. Let's see what we have. I bet you guys are watching me like, man, this guy can't spell. All right, so we clean that up. So now we want to pull the exif data. You know what? Real quick. But you probably wonder what is exif. EXIF is short for exchangeable image information. And that's basically um, information that can be stored into an image file. I hope I explained it correctly. Um, so like longitude, latitude information, um, camera, make and model, resolution, file size, that type of stuff. We're going to try to extract that out. Um, matter of fact, a good example would be Flicker. Yeah, so this information. Changes to ex data. There's a 
function for this EXIF is read. And we want to read the file. Make sure we use the correct directory. Um, let's print and run this. Boom. All right, so this is the EXIF data for what is 0362. This first image. Okay. And what I want to do is I'm going to be choicy, I'm going to be picky, and select the particular. Um, the data that I want to display. So, for instance, well, of course, you want the file name. So, I'm going to make a list. File name. What we want? We want the model. So we got a list of items we want to extract out of here. So I'm just gonna copy this, bring it up here. I'm going to do is build a new array. Copy and paste it right now. Wait a minute, do I have two file file name, file name, exposure time? Confuse myself. No, where's model at? Right, so what's this here for? Oh. Okay, so we're basically um, looping through this directory to pull the file names out um, and reading each one of these images to, to extract the EXIF data and creating a new array. Um, that just displays the information that we want. Let me why I'm particular for this. Let me kind of line this up. Okay. 
what I'm going to do is boom. Okay, guys, so this seems like a good stopping point. Um, this video is a little longer than 28 minutes, so I'm going to split it up and upload it in sections. The next video will start off with um, us writing this data into the HTML. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.